it's Brie the IBCLC and I'm here to share my top three tips with you on how to transition from exclusively pumping to breastfeeding, especially if your baby has been in the NICU. So my first tip for you, of course, is skin to skin. This is always one of my top tips, but in this situation, it's going to be extra helpful to help that transition. Um, between um, your baby getting um, a bottle or a syringe or whatever type of feeding that they're getting while they're in, while they are in the NICU or the um, intensive care unit for newborns as they're transitioning to the breast. So, um, you know, depending on what state your baby is in while they're in the NICU, you may not be able to hold them on your chest and do full skin to skin with them. We really prefer what we really prefer prefer to happen is to do kangaroo mother care if possible, which just means that for as long as possible throughout the day, we're keeping baby on your chest like a little, a little baby kangaroo in it's mama's pouch, baby staying right here on mama's chest throughout the whole day. But you know, sometimes in the NICU, that's not possible for a baby to be on your chest. Um, maybe not at all. And so if that's not possible, what I would recommend if you can, is to do resting hands on your baby. Um, maybe um, they have a lot of cords and you're not even able to pick them up and hold them right now. Even just doing some resting hands on their back and just holding them nice and still without doing any like um, rubbing or you know any too much stimulation, you can just gently rest your hands right there. Really any skin to skin contact that you can do with this little baby, even though it seems like that isn't doing a whole lot and it's not directly feeding at the breast, any skin to skin time with mom is going to be so important as you're working towards getting baby back to the breast. My second tip for you is that in situations like this, a tool such as a nipple shield can be helpful. Now, I don't like to jump to nipple shields in all situations. I've seen them be given to moms of full-term babies right off the bat, right after delivery, because they kind of had flight, flat nipples. And I don't love nipple shields in that situation, but there are some situations where nipple shields can be really, really um, effective and helpful. And in situations such as this, when a baby's been in the NICU for a long time, a mom's been pumping, and now they're trying to get back to the breast, what the nipple shield can do is it can help ease that transition between the two. Um, because the difference between um, a bottle in a baby's mouth and the difference between a breast are two very different things. So what the nipple shield can do is ease that transition. If you don't know what a nipple shield is, it's um, a little um, flexible um, covering that can go onto the nipple and it has some little openings so that when baby latches on, it still feels like a, a bottle nipple in the baby's mouth, but it's actually at mom's breast so that it's still stimulating and um, giving mom the stimulation that she needs and it's still her breast milk that can that can come through. And sometimes we do still use them with syringes as baby is transitioning um, for a little bit of supplementation. But in situations like this, a nipple shield can be a really helpful tool. So I would recommend working with an IVCLC lactation consultant um, and they can show you how to use the nipple shield, how to set it up, if any additional supplementation is needed and kind of um, ease it because I like to think um, as this transition from exclusive pumping to exclusive breastfeeding, it's a really gradual transition and sometimes we think like, oh, we got to go from here to here overnight. That's not going to happen. It's all about baby steps. Okay. So even if baby is just doing a few sucks at the breast with a nipple shield, that's great. That's a step in the right direction as we slowly transition. So um, if baby is still getting um, bottles elsewhere, um, I would prefer to feed them with a paste bottle feeding method, which it just means it's nice and slow. It's not quick and fast flowing while baby's lying on her back. Um, it's more of a slow feeding so that baby's not getting frustrated when they come to the breast. Um, and my third tip for you is throw away the all or nothing mentality because sometimes we think like, oh, it's either got to be all pumping or all at the breast. 
And again, it's a very gradual transition between the two. There's gonna be a lot of area in between where you're doing some pumping and some time at the breast. And it may feel like, oh, we're just never gonna get all the way towards the breast. But as long as you just keep moving forward, you just keep um, offering the breast and keeping baby um, skin to skin and close to you, it's all about those baby steps. So you can feel super confident that you're still headed in the right direction. Um, if you um, are wanting to wean off of the nipple shield and get baby back to the bare breast, the newer nipple shields are very thin and flexible. And, um, you know, the, moms can use them for long term. That's totally fine and still have a good milk supply. Um, but it does kind of take away from the convenience of breastfeeding because now you always have to have this shield with you and you have to keep it clean. And sometimes it gets lost and you're looking for it. So, a lot of moms like to wean off of the nipple shield once their baby is back to the breast um, and, and exclusively using the nipple shield, they like to wean off of that and get rid of it. So again, this is a very gradual transition. We can't go to every feeding being with a nipple shield and then the next day your baby is exclusively just on the bare breast. It doesn't really happen that way. Um, it's a very gradual transition between the two. So. Um, what this means is you just offer the bare breast um, when your baby is sleepy and not starving, okay? And even if they just kind of latch on but don't really do any sex, great. That's a great first step. That's a great step in the right direction. And then the next time maybe they just do a couple sucks and then that's it and they get frustrated. Totally fine to end it right there and just offer it again later. As things progress, Towards the end of a feeding, you can take off the nipple shield and um, latch baby onto the bare breast. And then after a few days of that going well, you can feed one breast with the nipple shield on. And then when you transition, um, when you transfer baby over to the other breast, you can just not even use the nipple shield and put baby onto the bare breast. Um, and then after that's going well for a few days, then you can try starting a feeding without any shield at all. So do you guys see how it's a really, really gradual transition? Um, it's all about baby steps throughout this whole process. Sometimes it's necessary to work with an IBCLC as you're going through this and make sure that you get help and you get assistance because it is a big transition, not only for you, but for your baby. Um, but I know that you guys can do it. Good luck with everything. We'll talk to you guys next time.